is 2004's Save a Horse, Ride a Cowboy. That means we are getting ready to talk a little big and rich. In fact, John Rich is with us now. I literally can't help but still dance every time I just hear that song star. I love that one. John, how are you? I'm doing good. Yeah, there's something about that silly song that people <laughs> just, I mean, it's like, um, it's like our sweet home Alabama for Big and Rich. It's like, it ain't a party to play that song. And can I say true story, as our viewers will attest, um, country music was something I'm not the biggest connoisseur of yet. However, my very favorite song is yours. And I am not just saying that because you join <laughs> us. I tell everybody that you just have such a great demeanor about you. And you're going to be bringing that energy to the Bay Area here soon. Yeah, we're bringing, uh, listen, big and rich, but Cowboy Troy, the big black rapping cowboys, we call him, been my friend since man, the, the mid nineties, uh, DJ sinister. Who's our, who's our crowd guy that gets everybody up. We're bringing the whole show uh, down to play for you guys. You know, we had a lot of shows that didn't happen, uh, like every other artist for a long time. And so to have shows kicking back in is something exciting to us. And I can tell you that the energy is still there, if not more so. And, um, if you've never been to a big and rich show, listen, it, it's everything from save horse, ride a cowboy and come into your city to, really serious songs like the 8th of November, which is a song we wrote about a Vietnam veteran friend of ours. We bring active duty military and veterans up onto the stage. We read their name, their rank, where they served. Everybody has a shot of, of my whiskey, Redneck Riviera American blended whiskey, which by the way is in all your stores now down in Florida. And it's, it's a big party, uh, but it's also very, very patriotic and very American. John, I'm so glad. Of course, we were talking about you're going to be playing up at Innisbrook, of course, with the uh, with the Valspar Championship. But since you brought up the veterans, you brought up the whiskey. I was reading that in a visit to the Bay Area back in what I think it was like 2018, you were signing whiskey bottles, but you also were able to spend time at MacDill Air Force Base. Talk about why that's so important to you, because Tampa Bay, I mean, we love our veterans. We have a strong military community here. And so being able to talk with an artist like yourself that shares that same appreciation, I mean, it's really nice. Well, America is the only country in the history of the world that has given its citizens the right to pursue happiness, not the right to necessarily be happy, but the right to pursue it, the right to go after your wildest dream, the right to exhaust your potential. It's what makes America unique. It's why everybody wants to live here and nobody ever leaves because America is the only one that has that. But there's only one reason why the right to pursue happiness is still an inalienable right for the American people, and it's called the United States military. You know, throughout our history as a country, empire after empire has tried to take America down and take away our freedom, but nobody's ever been able to do it because of the men and women in this country willing to fight and die if necessary to keep our rights alive. So a, a guy like me, listen, I'm nothing fancy. I've got a high school diploma. I grew up in a trailer in Texas. I mean, literally nothing fancy in my background, but I do work hard. I think big, I dream big, and I have the right to go after those dreams because of the rights granted to us protected by the United States military. So when I, when I get a chance to go to McDill or any other base around yeah. this country, I always jump at those opportunities to be able to say thank you. John, that was so well put. I would say, I think you need to be a broadcaster and have your own show, but guess what? You are doing that. I got to tell you, as a person who likes to do interviews, I love asking questions versus answering them. You literally are wearing both hats right now. Yeah, so I've got a show called The Pursuit. Funny enough, we were just talking about that. And I interview people about their pursuit of happiness in America. Well, that's a great subject. That's a great frame to put anybody's story in, whether you're a famous person or, or just a regular old guy or gal in this country. I think everybody wants to go pursue happiness. So I sit down people from all different backgrounds. I don't care if there's no politics. We don't discuss politics. We talk about the American dream and what it means to really work hard, to fail. That's a big part of everybody's story. Then to come back and continue forward. I was just down in the Tampa area and interviewed Jim Brewer, the comedian, which I think is one of the funniest guys alive about his pursuit of happiness. All these shows air every single week on Fox Business Network, Wednesday nights, and then again on Saturdays. It, it is, it is wearing both hats because I've been interviewed thousands of times in my career. I get to sit on the other side of the table now and ask, ask them the questions that I want to know. Okay. Well, we are almost out of time. What would you ask yourself as we get ready to wrap up and we want to get people out to see the Valspar championship and have fun right along with you? 
I would say, what should I do to get ready for the Big and Rich concert? And the answer would be, take your vitamins, drink lots of water, and prepare to have a Big and Rich time. Can I get a yeehaw? Yeehaw! Thank you so much for being with us.